ass, stuffing them shits in the safe. Got me a spot out the way. Nigga just trying to be safe. Let's get some sports talk. Being a center is not easy to do. You're right in the middle. All eyes are on you. We knew that the only way for us, our team, to be effective was for us to kind of dominate in the painted area. And it was effective. <laughs> I know if I was playing, I'd be one of those dominant players that would be getting it done. Tell it, it, it changed though. Uh, how, how, how it was back in the nineties with big man would post up, back down players. Now everything had to be a stretch. Now everyone had to scratch out two threes. Now big man's ain't the same. And big man's in this era don't want to post up. They want to face the basket and shoot. It's all right to pop out and shoot the three sometimes. But especially when they have someone on you that you know you can dominate. Get your butts in the block and dominate. Well, Greenwell gets you in and puts it in. Things that I idolized were um, obviously Shaq, Kevin Garnett, right. Tim Duncan, Kim Olajuwon. My favorite players were fours and fives. Old school Boston Celtics, Showtime Lakers, Bad Boy Pistons, and teams of that era where, you know, basically every time down, you're throwing them into the post and playing three to four or five men. Bill Russell, Wilt Chamberlain, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Before the three-pointer arrived in 1979, big men dominated the game, having won 15 of the previous 16 MVP awards. But the last traditional center to do it was Shaq in 2000. The post-up game is on life support as big men wander further and further from the basket. You see, look, you see how it was in that era, it was big man heavy. Like, big man wanted to get on the block and dominate and pose their will on other players and show them they can't stop them on the block. Now you see now it's time. It's, it kind of went the other way. It's like centers went from the block to now out here, like a point guard shooting threes. Now it's it's different now. The big man had changed now. Nobody don't see too many tradition centers in this league. Everybody has small ball now because it ain't too many big men in this league like that. That post stuff like that. The more physical I became. I just seen all the other centers do this. They just slowly, slowly keep doing that, keep doing that, keep doing that. And now, 15, 20 years later, you got guys shooting threes. It's cute. We dominated. I could have shot the three, but I know where my bread was buttered. We had all the guys on my team that, that could shoot the three better than me. So I got it done. I got my three the hard way. First of all, I can shoot, I can pass, I can defend with the best of them, and I can run like a deer, so I could have survived easily. Somebody asked me the other day, oh, shit, I couldn't play today. But you're not paying attention. I am playing today. My name is Greek Freak. Who's the first big guy to take you coast to coast? Oh, you don't remember? Check this play out. Look at the big guy on the floor. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, yeah. You have to pull Shaq up, right? <laughs> Yeah, Shaq been doing that. Shaq had handles back then. He had them when he was playing. Like, he could cross a player up and go to, straight to the, the basket. That's why the Greek Freak wear 34, because he idolized Shaq. And that was Shaq used to do. Shaq used to, Shaq was, a, he could handle the basketball. Shaquille O'Neal against Baker. Shot clock and pump just inside. There's not as much banking. So you don't want to be closer to 300 pounds. You're going to be closer to 250 nowadays. To change it, it's a beautiful thing that you have to adapt or change sports. For me, it was definitely adapt or die when I got here to Cleveland. I knew that I wouldn't be posting up as much anymore. We had two 
ball dominant players in Kyrie and LeBron, and I had to see where I fit in. Boy, is the game changed. According to Second Spectrum, in 2013-14, the league averaged 15.4 post-ups per 100 possessions. That number has plummeted over 46% to 8.3 post-ups. The new NBA uses post-up big men as inefficient. If you can put a smaller guy on a strong post You see, they could do it. They just have to want to. You see this, this era, people can post up, but they don't want to as much. They still want to scratch the floor. Now, it, it's just a different era 20 years later. It's just different. In the, in the 90s, uh, 80s, 70s, you see them on a block, dominate, posing their wheel, get them out there, get them out their way, hook shot. Like, you, you, you see that, but now, this era... The big man for slowly, for slowly, scoring back. And shooting jumpers. And hold him to 60% shooting, which is a 1.2 points per possession. But on the other side, the guy he has to guard when he guards him is making 50% of his threes, or 1.5. You're going backwards. In 2013 or 14, my last year with the Pacers, Popeye Jones told me that the team had a meeting with a stats guys and they said the one-on-one -on -one post up is the worst shot in basketball because it's basically one and done there's no movement here's hibbert in the lane and a bucket for roy hibbert you shoot threes there's opportunities for offensive rebounds and kicking out for more threes or layups that's why you don't see too many big mans that have post games why you think they don't last in the league now because they can't shoot the three. They are traditional centers. If you can't shoot the threes, you're not going to last in the league in this era. You, in this time, you're not going to last. So you at least got to hit a couple jump shots. That's why you see Andre Jones try to work on his jump shot so he could last in this league. He's going to last because he's a good rebounder. But other than that, you see why he's trying to work on it. That way, you see certain players out of the league now because they were tradition. They, they just they used to just put people in a paint. But when when you not when you not stretching the floor, it ain't gonna work. That's why y'all see too many people in the league. You see most of them in the D league, most of them overseas so much because they shoot threes in this era. There's a couple reasons why I think it's stupid to play like that. Number one, you take your size advantage out the game. Like right now, teams are switched to five. I wish we were able to switch out. I wish Doc Rivers would have switched out on me. Dirk was a guy that kind of stood out because he was seven feet and you had to put a smaller man on him, which made him even more because Dirk would just shoot right over top of him. Dirk played like a six foot five player in a seven foot body, and I think that's what really made him different. Here's Nowitzki for the win! Got it, and the game is over. Just because Dirk is seven feet tall and he's a great shooter, just because Kevin Durant is seven foot and he's a great shooter. Kevin Durant way outside, delivers! That don't mean all you other seven foot dummies should be out there shooting jumpers. Is there any way to save the post-up in the NBA? And which player will emerge as the next dominant big man? If you find the right big that can be effective on that block and that can protect the basket and that can post up, get deep spots, I think you're going to build your team around a player like that. Three on two, and B with the finish. I feel like big man could do more. What I've been trying to do, kind of change the narrative of my big man. I have a son. If he chooses to play basketball, I'm going to tell the coaches, don't put my son as a center. Make him be a, a regular player. Teach him how to dribble, shoot, everything like that. Any kid that plays basketball gets to work on their total game as opposed to being pigeonholed as a center. Thanks for
for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports... Right. 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 Right.